Do you really need another machine to do crafting and DIY projects? Stick around and find out. Hello fellow crafters, it's Chrissy from First Day of Home, where I love sharing new ways to craft and DIY so that you can go out and make something beautiful. If you've been a subscriber to my channel for a while, you know how much I love making handmade gifts. But when Exel reached out with the opportunity to try its new laser cutting machine, I had a lot of questions, so I'm going to share my experience today with some tips and tricks and a few project ideas to get you started. If all this is new to you like it was for me, let me just break it down for you. The Xtool M1 is a hybrid laser cutting and blade cutting machine. That means it has both the ability to cut, score, and engrave objects, as well as a blade to cut materials like heat transfer vinyl and paper. If you're a Cricut owner, think of it like a Cricut with laser superpowers. I had a chance to play with both the M1 machine and a few accessories. Before we get into the details, you're probably wondering what types of materials the M1 can cut. Well, there are over 300 types of materials from basswood to opaque acrylic or even metal and glass that this machine can cut or engrave. The Xtool M1 is a diode laser, which is much more affordable than a CO2 laser. That's because a diode laser is less powerful, so it won't cut through some thicker materials or clear acrylic. Still, with over 300 materials to choose from, I don't think you're gonna run out of project ideas. In terms of size, the Xtool M1 is about one and a half times the size of my home printer. It's not super heavy, it's about 22 pounds, but it's not something that you're gonna wanna be moving around your craft room or home. Inside the box, you'll get two cutting mats, a strong grip and light grip for blade cutting projects, and you'll also get some sample materials to get you started. Xtool also provides some triangular prisms, which help prop up certain materials to provide better airflow when laser cutting. Aside from the standard materials pack, I also received a premium materials pack. This has so many materials in it, you can be sure I'll be sharing more Xtool tutorials with you here on my channel. Getting set up was pretty quick and easy. The Xtool M1 comes with plenty of instructions and video tutorials. The blade for regular cutting projects is also very easy to install and remove because a magnet keeps it in place. Xtool also provides some replacement blades, which is nice. The machine comes with an exhaust hose that you'll run out a window or a door leading to the outside. I decided to place my machine near my craft room window and rigged it up with a foam panel to prevent the smoke from coming back into the room. Xtool also sells a smoke purifier, so that's a great option for extra ventilation. You will need a USB to connect the Xtool M1 initially, and after that, you can use Wi Fi all the way, and it's really seamless. Xtool has an app for mobile and tablet, but I prefer to work on desktop. There's also a really great community of Xtool M1 owners, so if you ever get stuck, there are plenty of places you can go to ask questions. What I love most about the M1 is that it has a 16 megapixel camera inside the machine, and this gives you a preview of your material in real time. This makes it super simple to size your designs and see exactly how they're gonna look on your material. Along with the M1, I also received the riser base with a honeycomb panel. This lifts up the machine to work on larger projects. If you don't have the riser base, Xtool does give you wooden risers, so you can use those instead. After doing a few practice cuts, I decided to tackle my first real project, a custom rubber stamp. You don't have to use Xtool products for the Xtool M1 machine, but since I'm a beginner, I wanted to play it safe. Using the Xtool software called Creative Space is very similar to Cricut Design Space, if you're familiar with that. You can add text, select different fonts, and insert images all within the software. As you can see, I was able to pick a reindeer design within XCS, and just using other shapes like rectangles, I'm able to format my stamp. In the software, you can also choose the material that you're working with, if it's an Xtool product. If not, you can also enter in your own parameters. There's also a framing feature where you can preview where the laser will cut before you send it to process. I installed the Air Assist with my machine, so this keeps the laser cleaner when cutting and engraving. You can put it on a low to medium setting for engraving. There are a few safety features of the M1 that were really important to me when deciding whether to try this tool or not. The first is a blue light filter on the lid of the machine that protects your eyes from the laser. 
With my riser base installed, it's also an enclosed system so that the smoke doesn't release as much into the room. Also, when you lift the lid during operation, the machine will actually shut off for your own protection. You should never leave your machine unattended while it's operating. And if something goes haywire, you can always press the button on the front of the machine to stop the operation. It took the M1 about 50 minutes to engrave this stamp, which was about one and a half to two inches big. Then there's just a little bit of cleanup with some rubbing alcohol and trimming the stamp to get it ready to use. I'm really impressed with the level of detail of this engraving. I can't wait to use this to make my own gift tags at Christmas time. Just a quick note, after doing a couple of practice projects, I did get a notice about cleaning my laser. It's a good idea to take some rubbing alcohol and just a Q-tip or cotton swab to clean the lens every so often. For my next project, I decided to engrave a wooden cutting board. This is the part I was most excited about, but also really nervous about, if I'm being honest. For this project, I'm using the riser base with the honeycomb panel. I had to prop up the cutting board with a scrap piece of wood underneath just to get it to the right height. There's a little bit of art and science that goes into this, but generally speaking, you want your material to be about the level of the original base plate. That's why the honeycomb panel comes in handy because you can move it up or down based on the size of your material. I had this SVG file that I had already downloaded. It was very easy to import this into Creative Space. Then using the preview, I was able to size it and choose my settings for engrave. I like to use SVG files, but you have options to use other file types like JPEG, PNG, or DXF. Then we'll follow the same process as the rubber stamp and hit process to begin engraving. Okay, this project is what really sold me on the X-Tool M1. I am so impressed with how clean these lines are. I think my mom is gonna love this for her birthday. I went ahead and added a little string here so that she can hang it in her kitchen. And I plan to make a lot more of these. You might remember when I used a Cricut to etch glass in a prior video. I wanted to see how the M1 stacked up using the engraving function and this cute glass tumbler that I picked up at Dollar Tree. Since the M1 is a diode laser, the laser would go right through this glass. For that reason, I'm applying a few coats of chalk paint so that the laser will be able to read the surface. Since this is a cylindrical object, we're gonna have to use the rotary. With the rotary tool, you'll definitely need either the wooden risers that come with X-Tool or the riser base. You need to lift up the M1 so that it has enough room to rotate and fit the tumbler underneath. The software has an option to choose cylindrical objects to engrave. Then it's easy to format your design and make sure it wraps around the tumbler. It only took about 35 minutes to engrave this glass tumbler. I know I went quickly through this example, but if you want the full details, leave a comment down below and let me know. Once I rinsed all of the paint off, I just gave the glass a quick clean and I am very pleased with how this turned out. So let's talk about who this machine is right for. If you wanna start a small craft business or maybe just make handmade gifts for friends and family, this M1 is perfect for you. Also, if you're space constrained and maybe you don't have room for a big CO2 laser, the M1 is perfect for a smaller craft room. If you've thought about getting a Cricut but you want the additional functionality of cutting or engraving wood or metal or thicker materials, the M1 might be the machine for you. In terms of accessories, I definitely recommend getting the riser base with the honeycomb panel. It helps contain the smoke when the machine is running, and it's also nice to have the flexibility to work on larger items without having to use the wooden risers and adding them and removing them with different projects. I think the Air Assist is also a must-have accessory. It's gonna help you get cleaner lines when you cut or engrave wood, and I will put a link to show you some examples down in the description box. Finally, the rotary tool is a must have if you want to work on cylindrical objects, maybe add it to your Christmas wish list, but it's not absolutely necessary to get a lot of use out of your X-Tool M1. If you're not a newsletter subscriber, I highly encourage you to sign up. I'll put a link down in the comments. You can get X-Tool tutorials delivered straight to your inbox and I will let you know anytime I post a new video so that you can continue to learn if you decide to purchase this machine. As always, I hope you go out and make something beautiful. You can watch these tutorials next for more ideas and inspiration.